All right. So are you ready to dive into some seriously creepy stuff? Because today oh. um, so. we're tackling the Mothman. You know, that uh, that weaned enigma haunting Point Pleasant. We're talking eyewitness accounts, possible connections to UFOs, and even that tragic bridge collapse all tangled up with this mysterious creature. What's fascinating is how this case, even after decades, still has people debating. It's not just folklore. It's a puzzle that just won't quit. And you know we love a good puzzle. But before we get ahead of ourselves, let's set the scene. It's 1966 in Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Picture a small town, Cold War anxiety simmering beneath the surface, and then boom, people start spotting this thing. You've seen the eyewitness reports they're chilling. Right. Yeah. Imagine seeing a figure, almost human-shaped, but huge, with those piercing red eyes and wings stretching. Are we talking up to 10 feet across? Okay, honestly, that's the stuff of nightmares. Not your average bird watching experience. No. And to make things even creepier, a lot of these early sightings happened around an old World War II munitions factory. Talk about an eerie backdrop. You've got this abandoned site already shrouded in secrecy, and then you add in the Mothman sightings. No wonder people started freaking out. People were terrified, right? Did anyone try to explain it away at first? Like maybe it was just a big owl or something? Oh, absolutely. At first, some folks chalked it up to an overactive imagination or maybe a case of mistaken identity. But then the sightings kept coming and the descriptions were just too bizarre to ignore. Plus, things were about to get a whole lot weirder. And that's where John Keel steps onto the scene, right? Right. The journalist who dove headfirst into this paranormal world of Point Pleasant. I'm actually kind of starstruck just thinking about it. Keel was already knee-deep in investigating strange phenomena when the Mothman story broke. He was drawn to the sheer oddity of it all. I mean, who wouldn't be? Yeah, for sure. From what I've read, this wasn't just a quick in and out for a news story. Keel really embedded himself in the heart of it all. Absolutely. Keel spent months in Point Pleasant talking to the people who'd seen the Mothman firsthand, combing through official reports, really trying to understand what's going on. And this is where his book, The Mothman Prophecies, takes a fascinating turn. I bet you're about to tell me that he didn't just brush it off as mass hysteria or some big misunderstanding. You know it. Keel saw the Mothman sightings as part of something much bigger, a whole network of paranormal activity. He started connecting the dots between the creature, UFO sightings, weird lights in the sky, and even encounters with those mysterious figures we know as the Men in Black. Wait, hold up. You're telling me the men in black are part of this story, as in the guys in the black suits who show up after UFO sightings? Things just got real. Oh, yeah, they're in the mix. Yeah. In the reports you sent over, there are several instances where people who claim to have seen the Mothman or experienced other strange happenings around Point Pleasant also reported running into these enigmatic figures. Okay, we have to talk more about the men in black. Who were they? What did they want? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Imagine this. Witnesses described them as being dressed identically in black suits, often wearing hats and driving unmarked cars. They were said to have this intensely intimidating aura, and they always seemed to know things about the witnesses, things they shouldn't have known. Okay, now that's just straight up creepy. Some people think they're government agents trying to keep a lid on UFO sightings, while others think they're extraterrestrial beings themselves. What's your take on the men in black, given everything you've learned? Honestly. Their true nature remains a complete mystery. But their presence in the Mothman saga just adds fuel to the fire. Keel himself believed they were entangled with the other paranormal events in Point Pleasant, but he never explicitly said who or what he thought they were. This is what makes the Mothman story so captivating. It's like one giant rabbit hole, each twist more mind-boggling than the last. We've got this creature maybe linked to a bridge collapse, UFO sightings, and then bam, men in black. And Keel's investigation went even further. Remember those reports you sent over mentioning strange lights and occurrences even before the Mothman sightings? Yeah. Keel interpreted those as precursors, almost like a buildup orchestrated by some hidden intelligence. A hidden intelligence. Okay, now you're blowing my mind. What exactly did Keel mean by that? He suggested there's something behind the scenes, something we don't fully grasp, that's manipulating events using these strange occurrences to nudge our perception of reality. Think of it like this. What if the Mothman wasn't the main event, but just a piece of a much larger, incomprehensible puzzle? Whoa, that's a lot to unpack. It's no wonder the Mothman story still has such a hold on people, even after all these years. And speaking of its hold, you mentioned something about a Mothman festival. Oh yeah, every year Point Pleasant goes all out with a Mothman festival. Yeah. Thousands of people flock there to celebrate this creature that let's be real, caused a major stir 
It just goes to show you how deeply the Mothman has woven itself into our cultural fabric. It's like the town decided to embrace the weirdness, and I kind of love it. And you can't forget about the Mothman Museum. A whole museum dedicated to this winged wonder. You know, you've been poring over those first-hand accounts and newspaper clippings. But the museum takes it to another level. They've got everything from eyewitness sketches to artifacts and artwork inspired by the Mothman. It's a gold mine for anyone intrigued by this mystery. It sounds incredible, but I have to ask, what about the skeptics? Surely not everyone buys into the supernatural explanations. Have there been any attempts to explain the Mothman sightings scientifically? Absolutely. Some scientists suggest the Mothman might have been a misidentified sandhill crane. There are pretty big birds known to hang out in that area. Oh, yeah. And those glowing red eyes. Some owls have very prominent red eyes, which can seem pretty freaky in the dark. That's actually a really good point. But still, those eyewitness accounts, the sheer number of people who saw something strange in the skies above Point Pleasant, it really makes you think. It really does. And while scientists continue to search for a concrete explanation, the Mothman remains an enigma. Perhaps the Mothman challenges our understanding of the natural world, reminding us that there are still mysteries out there, things we just can't explain away. I like that. It's a good reminder that we don't have all the answers. And maybe, just maybe, some mysteries are best left unsolved, you know? The intrigue, the speculation, it's all part of what makes the Mothman so captivating. You've hit the nail on the head. We've dug into eyewitness reports, explored different theories, even delved into the cultural fascination surrounding the Mothman. But the truth remains elusive. And that's okay. Sometimes, the journey is just as fascinating as the destination. Well said. So if you're listening to this and you're as hooked on the Mothman as we are, we encourage you to keep digging into those sources we provided. And who knows, maybe you'll stumble upon a new clue, a fresh perspective that sheds new light on this enduring mystery. Until next time, keep exploring the unexplained. <laughs>